Good morning, y'all. It's 10.30 in the morning, and I'm out here in Santa Cruz getting ready to do some more surf perch fishing. Today, I'll be mainly using the Berkeley Gulp Sandworm on a Carolina rig, but if the bite turns out to be on fire, then I just might switch over to the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow. Let's see what happens. I'll catch y'all out there. So I'm chilling in the back of my car right now because I definitely need a break after four hours of excruciatingly slow fishing. I haven't caught a single fish yet and that's really, really disappointing, especially since I heard that this place is pretty good for surf perch fishing. I'm honestly really frustrated and annoyed right now, but you know, that's fishing. There's nothing I can do about it. So I'm just gonna stick it through and hopefully I can catch at least one surf perch by the end of the day. We'll see what happens. I'll catch y'all in a minute. I think I got one. Yes. Yeah. I got one. Yep. I got one. <laughs> Finally. I got quite a few bites, but I've been missing them. But I finally hooked onto a fish. <laughs> it's about damn time. Woo. Oh, it's not a big one, but I'll take it. Beats getting skunked. Oh. At long last, ladies and gentlemen, my first fish of the day. And it's a tiny little barred surf perch. <laughs> Neat. Bye, bud. Got one. Yes. Woohoo! Second fish of the day. Looks like another thing, but I'll take it. He's a little bit bigger than the first one. Not by much though, but hey, a fish is still a fish. Nice little pretty barred surf perch. Awesome. Take a look at that. We've got a choker. This dude absolutely devoured the sandworm. Definitely wanted it. <laughs> All right, I just unhooked him. And now I'm gonna quickly release him back into the water. Bye bye, buddy. Do I still have it on? Is it still on? I tried to set the hook on a fish, but I don't know if he's on. Might have just been a little guy. Oh shit, yeah, I got a fish. <laughs> Barely felt a bite. I thought I lost him, but he's just another tiny guy. Didn't put up much of a fight, but hey, it's the third fish of the day. Beats getting skunked. All right, bye-bye, bud. Grow bigger. <sighs> I had another tough day of surf perch fishing. It took me six hours to catch three little dinky barred surf perch. And that's just disappointing as hell. I mean, that beach is supposedly great for catching big surf perch and big stripers, but there were no big fish to be found. I saw a couple fishermen next to me catch some surf perch too, but none of them were big and so, I think today was just a dink fest. Needless to say, it was definitely a very tough grind for me and not to mention exhausting. I am totally beat right now and I just wanna go to sleep. But I have made plans 
to go to the surf again tomorrow. I usually don't fish back to on back to back days, but because of how tough it was today and because of how disappointed I am, I am going to go out to a beach in Half Moon Bay to see if I can catch some big red tails and big calico surf perch. Surf perch fishing has been really tough for me lately, so I'm hoping that things will start to turn around for me tomorrow. We'll see what happens. I'll catch y'all in the morning. Good afternoon, y'all. It's 12.30 in the afternoon, and I am getting ready to head out to Half Moon Bay in search of some big, slabby, juicy, fat surf perch. Let's hope today's trip is gonna be a success and not another doozy. I'll catch y'all in a minute. y'all I have made it to Half Moon Bay let's catch some big surf perch Okay guys, so I thought I hooked onto a big surf perch, but it turned out to be this big old crab. I have no idea what species of crab this is. I'm definitely no crab expert. I really don't hunt for these guys, but uh, nevertheless, it's still a pretty interesting catch. <laughs> hooked him by the one of his uh, appendages. So I'm gonna unhook this guy and then throw him back into the water. All right, Mr. Krabs, time for you to go back into the bikini bottom. Go tell SpongeBob and Patrick I said hi. <laughs> Bye, bud. Boy, this is not good. This is not good. I spoke with a guy earlier and he told me he only caught four barred surf perch. And that's not even the species I'm really targeting. This beach is supposed to be great for calicos and uh, red tails, but I haven't got a single bite yet. I only got a crab and that's it. Oh, this is so freaking annoying. Like. God, I heard that uh, all up and down the California coast has just been slow. So that's really discouraging to hear and really, really disappointing. So I don't know, man. I'm just going to keep grinding it out and uh, hopefully, hopefully I can catch at least one fish today. God, it's been so slow. Oh, oh. Two days of slow fishing. That's just really frustrating. If this trip doesn't turn out to be a success, then, uh, which it probably won't, to be honest, judging by the way the bite's been, so 
if this trip isn't going to be a success, then I'm going to head back out to uh, some beaches in San Francisco. Because I usually have pretty good luck over there. But you never know. It's been rough lately, so we'll see what happens. I might have finally caught one. Woo! Yes, I did. <laughs> I hooked him. Woo! Woo! Finally! First fish of the day. Oh my god, it's been so slow. And woo this fish is bigger than the, any of the three that I caught yesterday. So that's a plus. Awesome. Not the species I'm looking for, but hey, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I just wanted to catch a fish, and I finally caught one. Yeah! All right, see ya, buddy. There's one. There's one, yes. Caught one. <laughs> Second fish of the day. Been getting a lot of bites. Woo! Finally. About time. Second fish. Woo! Another little barred surf perch. Got another choker. Choked the sandworm, so I'm gonna have to use the pliers to ungut hook this fish. There we go. Okay, he's been unhooked. Time for him to go back into the water. Hi, right, buddy. Bye-bye. Okay, y'all, so I'm off the beach now and I'm at a restaurant called Sam's Chowder House. We decided to go for seafood today because, you know, I'm out at the beach. What better place than uh, Half Moon Bay to try some seafood? I don't really eat seafood a lot of the times, but decided what the hell might as well and uh i'm hanging out with some friends they showed up at the end of the day this guy rudely interrupted me when i was catching a fish you know the bite was on fire and i finally started to get some bites and then all of a sudden this dude is i call him the jackass he just shows up and then he just started talking and rambling out of the blue to all ian's fans out there only hang out with people that if you are messed up they will tell you everything Thing. Not just some things you don't remember. <laughs> just curious. Like you're, you're not talking to anyone certain. <laughs> yes, yeah, y'all can see we can. We're having quite a bit of a conversation here. A <laughs> pretty funny Can't conversation. Trust girls. Can't trust girls. Can't trust girls. <laughs> we're in a public restaurant. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> this he's 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 our loudmouth of the group <laughs> but really funny this guy is just a nuisance and then when y'all meet the it's other the dude he's show. the mma fighter basically um, we're normally way funnier it's just i'm um, cranky because he informed me of some upsetting news that i'm getting roasted about by yes squad. <laughs> you know when the whole squad roasts you and you just have to take it but you don't remember <laughs> but you don't remember what you did too yeah he just had one of those kind of nights, you feel me? <laughs> but I don't know really what I want to get. I'm really thinking right now. I have no idea what I want. I'm thinking about getting some chowder and then maybe a burger or something or a steak. I don't know. Uh, I'm still trying to think. So um, see what I get. See y'all in a minute. So ladies and gentlemen, this was the third person that I was talking about. The Look MMA fighter. Smile. He's about to uh, soon be the uh, UFC champ. Uh, <laughs> might I add that he sucks at fishing. <laughs> Every we'll time I've taken man. this guy out, he we'll sucks. Playboy, <laughs> oh, there we go. His, girlfriend. his girlfriend's calling. <laughs> Bye, John. Okay, y'all. So I finally made up my mind. I got a cup of champ or a bowl, a little bowl of uh, clam chowder. And I ordered a half pound uh, burger. Awesome. 
can't wait to grub. What about you, John? What'd you get? I got a Manhattan clam chowder bowl, bread bowl. Translation: <laughs> I'm paying good. for him because I'm the bread money. <laughs> I'm the bread money guy. <laughs> you, you mean the bread, bread winner? winner? The bread winner. The bread winner. <laughs> I'll see y'all in a minute. Alrighty, y'all. So I got myself a burger, like I said. Got some fries with it. Steven over here has uh, meatballs and the Manhattan clam chowder. Am I right? Good, homie. Yeah. Cool. And then. Hello, uh, guys. I'm Chris. I'll be taking over for Bianca. Uh, can I get something to drink? Lemonade. Lemonade. Perfect. Right on. And then waters for you guys. Just water. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Right on. Cool. Thank you. Enjoy, guys. Before I was interrupted, um, John got himself a uh, Manhattan Bowl as well. It's hot. And uh, this guy, like I said, he's just weird. He got a plain spaghetti with cheese on the side. He ordered meatballs on the side and gave it to Steven because he doesn't have, he doesn't like have he doesn't want to have any toppings on his stuff. So that's just. They Why don't me. you want any toppings on your spaghetti? Fans love me. First of all, fans don't even know you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Second of all, what? Why? Just why? Can't handle. This is what I mean by he's just really, really weird. All right, I'm done talking. I'm a grub now. This looks delicious. Okay, folks, I am back home now after a delicious meal. That burger was bomb the meat was cooked just right i got a medium rare and it was super juicy so i love my food if y'all are ever in the half moon bay area i definitely recommend that restaurant it's called sam's chowder is it called sam's chowder house, sam's, chowder house. I forgot. sam's chowder house yeah i almost forgot the name i can't believe i forgot the name of the place i just went to but regardless it is amazing it's freaking amazing definitely check it out i love that place and you know, even though today's fishing wasn't that great, I only caught two and there were little fish, but, and I caught a crab as well, but hey, at the end of the day, it still beats getting skunked and I still had some fun, you know? I'm out with these fools for uh, a little while. They showed up at the end of the day and uh, decided to kick it with them and uh, now we're gonna chat it up a little bit, catch up, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> it's been a pretty long day for me, so. I'm gonna hit the sack in probably about an hour. I am planning on heading out to the surf again. I don't know when. It has been pretty slow. I might just go back to do some bass fishing, but we are having a cold front moving in, so it's not ideal for bass fishing. And uh, I don't know, we'll just see what happens, see what decision I make. <laughs> no idea, honestly. Also, thank y'all for helping me reach 100 subscribers. That means the whole world to me. It's a small little milestone on a long journey. And I honestly have no words but to say thank you. It is it means a lot to me, guys. And let's see if we can uh, take this channel to 1,000. Once I get to 1,000, I will be doing some sort of giveaway. Not sure exactly what it will be yet, but I know it's gonna be something nice in as a token of appreciation for all you guys supporting me and watching my videos. It truly, again, means the whole world to me. Cannot thank you guys enough. I wouldn't be doing this without y'all. So I love y'all. Thank you for watching the video and good night.